Hi, I'm Aaron Schell, and I publish Baron's Hobbies Online Magazine. This video is a compliment to an article I wrote explaining why a model helicopter needs aerobatic flight modes, or idle up flight modes, to be able to fly upside down. So, if you're a beginner model helicopter pilot, you already know that you use the throttle stick to bring the rotor head from zero or an idle if the engine's running to full throttle and full pitch, which would be full climb out. <coughs> With an aerobatic helicopter, you've got a symmetrical set of rotor blades so that they're able to produce pitch both upright and inverted. But if you pull the throttle stick back, you would just cut the throttle. So we use an aerobatic flight mode to be able to switch into a, a, what we would call idle up. And you use the normal mode, which would be with the switch all the way away from you, this switch here. On the left hand side is the most common switch, but different radios have different setups. So you have to check with your own radio's manual. You would have the radio in normal mode to get the helicopter fired up and off the ground. And electric helicopters would be similar. Once you're flying, you would flip into an aerobatic flight mode. This one has two different flight modes for an idle up one and an idle up two. What that does is then you have full power and full pitch available with the, with the upper portion of the stick. And with the lower portion of the stick, it gives you full negative pitch with full throttle. So again, in normal mode, you'd be able to take the throttle from an idle at the bottom. You can see that the throttle barrel here is in an idle. And you could accelerate the throttle up, and you could get the helicopter off the ground, and you could use positive pitch to climb out. You would then flip into an aerobatic flight mode, which then is intended to maintain a rotor speed. So we have a throttle curve and a pitch curve on here, which allows you to adjust where the output is at any given point on the stick, or at five points on the stick, or seven points on the stick, or um, different radios have different setups. But in, in, uh, in a nutshell, what it allows you to do is it allows you to have several different modes which give you uh, consistent power for aerobatics without cutting the power when you bring the throttle down. Then when you're ready to land, you would flip back into a normal mode and you'd be able to land normally or you can use a throttle hold, which is a whole other situation, but basically the throttle hold allows you to cut the throttle back to an idle at any time at any of, over any of the flight modes. And this is important because you need to be able to both auto-rotate and you also need to be able to cut the power if you have a crash. Because crashing with the throttle hold engaged will dramatically reduce damage. If you're going to go in, you can hit the throttle hold and you can cut the power and it will uh, reduce the amount of energy that the helicopter has going into the ground and uh, it's one of the things that you can learn to do as a reaction if you're crashing. Um, so anyway, thank you for joining us for today's topic and check out BarronsHobbies.com. Thank you.